Welcome back to KU Evening News. I'm your host, Michael Wagner. And I'm Adam Lang, the other host. How's your week been, Michael? My, week, my week's been pretty good so far. I, uh, I've had some tests, some homework, written some essays, and, you know, it's just been a good week so far. I'm done tomorrow, so looking forward to that. Going to be having some fun tonight. How about you? Pretty good. Professor Benson has been very, very entertaining in her journalism classes, as usual, dropping a lot of F-bombs. It's very fun. It's very spicy in there. Speaking of spicy, Trump has been just all over the place this week with his tweets about the NFL. And what do you think about that? Um, my opinion on that, not getting too political, is that I, I'm not sure if it's appropriate or professional. But um, it is something for him to talk about, I guess. But I feel like he could have handled it in a better way, or he could have just not discussed it at all, and it would have been fine. Um, maybe he should lay off the Twitter for a little bit. Yeah, he kind of acts like he owns the National Anthem, and no one owns the National Anthem, not even the president, Yeah, because that's just kind of dumb. But speaking of the NFL, the Bears won last week. Ooh. To all the people from Chicago out there, we won 23-17 to against the Steelers in overtime. Chicago. As they say, da bears. Duh bears. <clears throat> so this weekend is the 33rd annual late night in the fog, and that's a big event on campus as usual. Are you going? Uh, I'm planning on going. Lil Yachty's going to be performing. Really? So pretty excited about that one. That's pretty exciting. Don't know how we did that, but Lil Yachty's the guy in those Sprite commercials. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. You know, cold like. A Sprite soda. I don't know if we can say that on air, but... We don't own that phrase, but... I apologize to little Yachty. Um, there are other things going on at late night. There's a 3 versus 3 basketball tournament before late night at 5.15 p.m. And the Fog Festival. Oh, that's fun. That should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Have you, have you been to one before? No, I'm a freshman. What is it? I don't know. Mm, I don't know either. We'll just have to figure it out. I guess out we'll just then. have to go and figure it out. <laughs> All right. All right. If you guys want to tell us what it is, then do that after the show because we don't know right now. Um, so what do you think about the basketball tournament? As, as the preseason is coming up and uh, we're going to see what's going on with the, with the team so far, what do you think about KU basketball? I think we're just going to keep winning and then winning and then winning more and then keep winning. Who are, you, who are you most excited to see on the court? Bill Self. Bill Self, really? I want to see him dunk a ball. I don't, that's not a good dream, but it's my dream. <laughs> if they have a trampoline, he can do it. I think he's a pretty tall man. I think he could do it himself, but. He probably could. I'm really excited to see LeGerald Vick get out there. Oh yeah. He's got some steez on the court. Steez means style and ease. and. He's just wow. fantastic when he's out there. He, he looks really is. very graceful. He does, like a figure skater, except not like a figure skater. More like a, a good basketball player. That was a terrible analogy. I'm not good at metaphors. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And it's cooled down in KU, finally. It's finally fall. I'm really sick of summer. It's too hot. Very humid in Kansas. It is. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. But it's supposed to warm up again, back up to the 80s this week. And it's like, it doesn't feel like it's fall. It feels like it's just going to go right back to summer again, which yeah. is annoying. Well, the weather here, is, it it's kind of flips around. Right now it's cold. Um, it's a little bit windy, but it's supposed to be in the 80s next week, I think. Yeah, yeah. And I, we, it just rained, and it's been in the 70s. I don't know why it can't just stay. All right. Well... That's well, all the time we have. Ellie will be back with a guest. We'll see you later. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you, your identity for life. The University of Kansas. A great place to be you. Hi, welcome back to Good Evening KU. I'm Allie Sheets, and I'm here with my very good friend, Michael Miller. Hello. 
How you doing today, Michael? I'm doing just fine. Good. I'm liking the weather. It's nice and yeah, cold. Yeah, nice and cold. <laughs> I gotta wear jeans and like a sweater today. Yeah, really it was great. nice. So, I hear you're involved with alternative breaks. Yeah, that's super correct. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to tell you a little bit about it? Sure. Okay, awesome. So, uh, Alternative Breaks is a volunteer organization here on campus. We're an extremely large student organization, one of the largest student organizations we have on campus. We have a lot of passionate individuals who are involved. Um, and we primarily have two projects that we do throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So um, our first project is that we have week-long breaks. Okay. And then our second project is we have weekend breaks. Okay. So primarily throughout the year, during our week-long programs, mm -hmm. uh, during spring, summer, winter, and fall, uh, we send students in groups of like seven to eight individuals across the United States of America to assess what volunteering looks like outside the region of KU. Okay. So um, it's a super fun organization. Mm -hmm. um, it's a super f fun time to go um, during your breaks. Um, as an example, um, I brought a t-shirt um, that demonstrated some places we went to over the summer, wow. this last summer. You've so, been like everywhere, yeah, California, yeah. Arizona, two places in Texas. All over the place. Wow. Uh -huh. And while the destinations were really cool, they also had some really awesome causes to work for, like Catalina Island, it was a lot of environmental service mm -hmm. work. That's cool. um, in Texas, it was work for the homeless and the hungry. Oh, wow. okay. So we have a lot of um, great causes mm -hmm. um, that Alternative Breaks works mm -hmm. for. Okay. Yeah, so um, we're currently um, about to embark on fall breaks. Okay. So we're going to have one that goes to Amanda Panda, which helps um, children who are um, who are trying to mourn over the loss of a loved one. Okay. And we also have one in the city of Oklahoma to oh. help deliver food to okay. the homeless and the hungry. Mm -hmm. And we also have coming up, um, which is super important, we have our winter breaks. And so those applications for those winter breaks are going to be closing this Friday, actually. Mm -hmm. So September 29th, if anyone's interested in doing a winter break, that's when those applications are going to be due. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of fun sites um, planned, um, so I'm yeah. super excited for this season. Yeah, what is the date for the winter break? Um, the dates for the winter break, let's see if I have my little pamphlet <laughs> I brought with me. Yeah. Oh, it's behind me. Okay, so um, our winter breaks, those are going to be January 7th mm -hmm. through the uh, January 14th. Okay. So towards the end of your winter break, right before school okay. gets back into session, so we have a lot of great causes. We're going to be helping um, with uh, children who have developmental disabilities okay. or the elderly um, or uh, we have more environmental service work because right, that's, that's awesome. always fun. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a lot of mm -hmm. great stuff planned and I'm super excited for mm -hmm. this winter break season. Okay. So how did you get started in alternative breaks? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, when I was a freshman, I was looking at ways to get involved. I always loved service work that I did mm -hmm. in high school, and I wanted to continue to run with that passion. So I went to Union Fest one day, and um, I found the organization. I talked to them, and then I decided to go on a winter break myself, and it was one of the best weeks of my life. Me and seven other strangers, uh, other students that I didn't know, um, went down to New Orleans, Louisiana, wow. yeah. and we got to help rebuild homes that were That's still awesome. affected by Hurricane Katrina. That's insane. Yeah. That's crazy. The, it's, it's so bananas mm -hmm. um, knowing how much um, is still hurt and yeah. is recovering. I'm, yeah. like that. I remember you talking about that and you said it was an amazing trip and you wish oh, you could it do it great. again and again and again. Oh, I, I would definitely do it again. Yeah. So. And you are the weekend break coordinator, yes, right? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. So as weekend break coordinator, mm -hmm. um, I ha assist in planning volunteer events around the region of Lawrence and local areas. Because while we send students all across the country, we mm -hmm. are all about volunteering in a local region because we think that's part of service being and giving back to your local yeah. community. So we have a lot of awesome sites planned. Mm -hmm. It's a great way if you want to get involved in the volunteer community at yeah. KU or if you do have service hours for let's say a Greek affiliated organization or any other organization that requires service hours, weekend breaks are perfect for mm -hmm. that. So you and a group of maybe how you just as a single person can volunteer mm -hmm. or with a group of your friends and you can go to an animal shelter that we have planned, or you can go to a cute little farm. Oh, it's my favorite little break. You go and you help plant little plants, and then <laughs> it's so fun. And then yeah. at the end of it, you get to meet all the sheep they have oh on the farm. Gosh. They're adorable. That's so yeah. amazing. It's great. So we have your email listed below. Correct. So people can contact you if they want to volunteer and get involved in alternative breaks. Um, is there anything you would like to add? 
Uh, not at the moment. Just make sure to get those winter break applications in if you're interested in going on a winter break. All right. Well, thank you for um, coming here. <laughs> thank you for having All right. me. All right. Stay tuned, and we'll be right back with the news. <laughs> Welcome back, I'm Leanne Peterson. And I'm Ali Sheets, and this is your Good Evening KU News Update. Grammy-nominated artist Lil Yachty has been confirmed to perform at the 2017 Late Night in the Fog. Lil Yachty follows in the footsteps of artist Tech 9 who performed at the event last year. The University of Kansas Alumni Association is revamping the way students interact with alumni. This includes a new staff, dropped fees, and even a new interactive app. In the past, students paid $25 a year to be a part of the Student Alumni Association. According to reports, the gun that was found in Westco Hall on September 5th had been missing for at least a year. The gun was reported stolen in Olathe on June 6th, 2016. Police, police do, still do not know who left the gun in the bathroom or else it had been during that time. President Trump caused a major stir after tweeting about NFL players kneeling for the national anthem at games over the weekend. Trump's tweets urged NFL to fire all the players at, that were kneeling, saying that they were disrespecting the country. The aftermath of Hurricane Maria is still being felt in Puerto Rico. 97% of the residents are still without power. Resources are running low, and federal aid has not been enough for medical need on the island due to the major devastation. KU Volleyball plays tonight against 18th ranked Iowa State. This is the first conference home game of the season for the Jayhawks and they are looking to get another Big 12 win after beating K-State in Manhattan last weekend. That's it for your Good Evening KU News Update. Stay tuned and Brittany will be back with the weather. Where you go to college makes a statement about you. This place will become a part of you your identity for life. The University of Kansas, a great place to be you. Oh, my head's cut off. <laughs> well, you can't see my head right now, but hopefully they'll fix that in a few seconds. But anyway, good Wednesday evening, everyone. We've had a chilly past two days, and that trend will con uh, continue on into the rest of the week. A matter of fact, temperatures will remain in the 70s. Calm weather also will persist, but that warm weather will definitely return later on into the start of next week. Right now, we're sitting at a temperature of 68 degrees here in Lawrence. Ottawa, a little bit warmer, actually the same, 68. Kansas City, colder at 67. Topeka at 66, but all around very chilly on this Wednesday evening. And here's your current cloud cover. Here's why we're a little bit chilly. Those clouds are blocking out the sun. Although, good news, there are some breaks over to the west of us in Lawrence. So, hopefully that'll move through. Matter of fact, it will overnight. And that'll allow us to warm up a little bit throughout the rest of the week. Here's a current picture, actually. Right now, you can see, I'll move out of the way, we have little peaks of blue starting to come out from the sky, and that will continue on, like I said, into the rest of the evening and overnight. And the winds are only out of the uh, north, northeast, about seven miles per hour. So nothing too bad, but that might make you want to have a jacket because it's going to make it feel a little bit colder outside than our current temperature. Here's your hourly planner. As you can see, those clouds are going to clear throughout the rest of the night, mostly clear skies to start off with. Um, your Tuesday, or excuse me, Thursday morning. Those temperatures are going to drop off very quickly after the sun sets. From 7 o'clock, we're at a temperature of 64, but by 9 o'clock, we're already at 58 degrees. So very cold and chilly night, and those winds are going to be pretty weak as well. Tonight, we're going to have a low of 49 degrees. <laughs> very, very cold. We've actually had colder already in September. I think the lowest we had was about 43. So not as cold. We're not breaking any records or anything, but 49 degrees, clear skies, and those winds are going to be very calm throughout the rest of the night. 
Here's your seven-day forecast, as you can see. Really nice weather up until Monday, which actually is the day of the Chiefs game. 20% uh, of a chance of rain on your Monday. So if you plan on going to the game, definitely have that rain gear with you. And also note for the rest of the week, you're going to want to have a jacket. Cold temperatures overnight, but also your highs are only going to be in the 70s. So definitely have a jacket handy with you. Uh, that's it for good more evening, KU. Have a great evening, everyone.